So if you watch my last video, it was on reverb and we can't do only reverb. So this video is going to be about delay. So I'm going to show you how you could apply uh, Logic Pro stock plug-in delay on a vocal track and delay you could use delay on any track to give it some good variation some good effects and things like that um, i'm also give you a tip on how you can automate the delay also as well so let's get straight into it so if we want to get to a delay we go to our effects plug-in menu and we go to delay so i like to use they have tape delay stereo delay sample delay echo and delay designer this would be all of your stock plugins these are coming from my UAD my universal audio so now I like to use stereo delay so stereo delay is it has a left channel and a right channel and you could configure the left channel and you could configure the right channel so here's your delay time for your left input you can have it at 32 dot noted all the way up to like a whole note or half dot noted pretty much like a whole note same with the right you can have your different time frames and you just want to listen to what these different time frames sound like within the mix so you have your low and high cut this is kind of like how you can EQ your delay your lows of delay I usually like to take some out the lows and take some out the highs so anything less than 130 just you won't hear that delay effect anything above 3300 Hertz you won't hear that as well so I do the same thing on both sides just give it some you know some cuts here's your feedback this is the amount of time the delay will keep happening over time how long do you want the delay to happen over time that's your feedback uh, I'll show you what all this sound like crossfade will be delay channel from this left to this right and vice versa how much of that you want that to happen back and forth kind of like your stereo effect when you hear from one ear to the next so what this would sound like on the on the left side uh before we get into that this is your output mix so this is how much of the left you want to give and how much of the right you want to give so let's give the right all the way down let's turn the left all the way up to see what that sound like on one eighth note oh, oh. So that's what that sound like on a one eighth note. So if we do like a quarter note. So that's what that sound like on a quarter note. And let's go all the way to a half note. It's coming in way, way later. So now if we want to mix this on both sides, what we would do is I'll raise it up anywhere between some right there. And when I usually do on the right side, the right side is usually going to be like one eighth. So this is kind of like a one eighth effect is for me, it's kind of like a double effect is sitting so close to the, so when you say your word, it's going to say the word one eighth of a second right after that. So I use that as like doubling effect. And then I, on the other channel, I use that as my delay. So here's what that would sound like. Oh, 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 oh. So now if I turn the right all the way up so that when you hear just the one eighth note, it will sound more as if the vocals are being doubled rather than being delayed. Oh, oh. So we turn that down. So the left channel, let's turn that back up and let's give it more feedback. So that way over time, let's stretch this out. So what happens is when this vocal word is being said over time is being said again. So you see where this dead space is at. So you want to fill up the vocals or rather the delay within that dead space time frame. So for instance, if you have a whole track and then there's tracks that have like a good punch where you can stop the beat or, you know, put the delay effect on it. And it has space until the next word or the next bar that's where you want to put your delay effect and then i put usually use my doubling effect throughout the whole track so that way it sounds more fuller within the track think of that that cube spectrum again putting in smoke inside that cube you want to fill up that space so that way your song sounds full or if you're just constructing the beat that way your beat sounds full so i'll use the delay i'll give it more feedback on the left channel oh, oh. And that's what that would sound like. So now if we want to automate this, we press A to get to the automation window and we drop down this men menu right here. And what we want to do is select the delay. We want to select if we want to do left channel and we want to do right channel. So we want to select the left mix. Then we hit the plus button. Then we go back to the, to the delay and we select the right mix. So now what this is going to do is automate your channel from left to right. So say like here, you say, I see I got the space here and I got some space here so let's say on the left side I want just this to stand out and on the right side I just want this to stand out actually let's move this over to here 
so that way you could actually hear the effect. Let's see what that sound like. See how it switches from left to right? So this was just a quick video to show you how to use Logic Pro stock delay plugin. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in your comments. If it's something you didn't understand, also leave that in your comments. Uh, if you want to see me do a full mixing tutorial, rather would, would it be with vocals or beats, also leave that in the comments. I, I'm Taurus General. I appreciate you for sitting here with me. Time Serve Records. Please subscribe to the channel. Peace.